The CAH formula involves an angle, the hypotenuse, and the adjacent side. We have to know how to figure out which is the adjacent side in our triangle. In this triangle, we're working with the 42 degree angle. This is the hypotenuse, and we know that this is the opposite side. The other side is the one that we call adjacent. The word adjacent means beside, and this side is beside the 42 degree angle. In this triangle, if we're working with the 48 degree angle, the adjacent side is over here. So much like the opposite side, the adjacent side switches places depending on which angle you're working with. The hypotenuse, as usual, never moves. The saw formula allowed us to solve some right triangles, but in some triangles we don't have the right information to use the saw formula. This means we need a second formula, and our second formula is called the Ka formula. The formula structure is cosine of theta is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. When using the CAH formula, we often have to find the cosine of an angle. We can find the cosine of any angle, but not the 90 degree angle. Remember that in trigonometry, we round off our answers to four decimal places. If we enter cos of 24 degrees into our calculator, we get a long decimal that starts with 0 0.91354. Since the fifth number is a 4, and that is less than 5, the fourth number will not change, and our answer will be 0 0.9135. Remember that your calculator has to be in degree mode whenever you do trigonometry. To get this type of calculator in degree mode, you press the mode button and 4. In example 1, we have a 30 degree angle, our hypotenuse is 2, and we want to know how long the adjacent side is. Filling in our cap formula, we have cos of 30 degrees is equal to x over 2. We replace cos of 30 degrees with 0 0.8660 in our formula. Then, since our x is being divided by 2, we multiply both sides by 2. These 2's cancel out. x is therefore equal to 2 times 0 0.8660, which is 1.7321. We have our answer. In example 2, we have a 37 degree angle. Our adjacent is 4.2, and we want to know the length of the hypotenuse. We fill in our CA formula like this. Cos of 37 degrees is equal to adjacent 4.2 over x. We replace cos 37 degrees with 0 0.7986 in our formula. And then, since our variable is in the denominator, we do the trade. Our answer is x equals 5.2590. 5.2590. In example 3, we have a 63-unit adjacent side and an 80-unit hypotenuse. We'd like to know the measure of the angle, theta. We fill in our half formula like this. Cos of theta is equal to adjacent 63 over hypotenuse 80. Therefore, we replace 63 over 80 in our formula with 0 0.7875. And thus we know that theta is equal to 38.0475 degrees. 
don't forget degrees, that is your unit of measure. Now that you know how to use the CAF formula, you will work on an exercise sheet like this one. Example 1 will be a model to help you do question 1A, 1B, 1C. Example 2 will be a model for question 2A, B, and C. And example 3 will be a model for question 3A, B, and C. Question 4, A, B, and C presents one question of each type in random order.